Before we start our first tutorial, we'll go over some important Mathematica basics. First off, we can write notes like the one I have up here by using parentheses and asterisks. Notes don't get outputted when we evaluate expressions, but they are good ways to organize work and allow anyone viewing your Mathematica notebook to find things easily. We can also create strings using quotation marks. Alright, so you'll notice that when we wrote this code, there's a square bracket on the side of the screen here. That's called a cell. So we'll go over the concept of cells in Mathematica. Every time we type code, we're typing it into an input cell. We can evaluate, edit, or delete cells. And you'll notice when we press enter, all it does is it adds a new line to our cell. If we wanted to evaluate the cell, we would need to press shift enter, and then Mathematica creates an output cell if there's something to output. In this case, we have our string. We can add cells by dragging the mouse down the screen until our cursor turns horizontal. And then we just click on the screen and type our new code. And we'll see that we have a separate bracket here. We can delete cells by simply highlighting the brackets on the side and pressing delete. Once we have a cell, we can freely go back to edit or make any changes to it. Organizing groups of code into cells is good practice and usually allows evaluations to run smoother, especially for larger functions, because we can evaluate different functions or expressions separately. Now we'll do a quick overview of variables and how to evaluate expressions. Going to a new cell, we'll start off by assigning an expression to the variable y. So let's say y equals this x squared times 1 plus square root of x divided by x plus 4. Shift enter. You'll notice that when we define y, the letter y turns black and x stays blue. When we define variables in Mathematica, the variable turns black to show us that something is stored inside of it. When a variable is blue, that means we haven't defined it. Now we can evaluate this expression by defining x and then outputting y. So let's say x equals 3 and then output y. And then we get this expression. However, this method is inefficient and requires us to re redefine x every time we want to evaluate y. We can use the clear function to clear x again. Now the better way to evaluate y is to use arrows called rules. So how we can do this is by typing the expression that we wish to evaluate, so y and then forward slash a period and now our variable is x and we want it let's say at 3 and then say we also want to evaluate x at oh sorry that was supposed to be 3 and let's say we want to evaluate x at 5 now let's press shift enter we have our value our expressions evaluated here, but you'll notice that x is still blue, meaning that nothing is stored inside of it still. So let's look at x and let's look at y. And we notice that x is still just x and y is still an expression of x. Using rules is very efficient because it doesn't require us to redefine x each time and it doesn't store anything into x so that we can use our expression over and over. 
that's it for the basics and I'll see you guys in the actual tutorial.